Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to episode 224 of Constructing Loss. Dangerous, how's everybody doing? We are back on the city today, ready to, ready to continue to make some progress. So, today I have something interesting planned that I want to work on, and it's going to be kind of like a planning video, so... Basically, we have the plaza here, and we have been ignoring this plaza for a while. Just because I've been trying to come up with like a really good, solid plan for it. Because, um, you know, we've had a whole bunch of different things in here. We've had a bunch of different water features, you know, all over the place. We, obviously, we have the ice skating rink in the middle. We have these buildings here. So, there's a bunch of different stuff on it already. And I, I do want to do something really special with this. So, I think it is worthwhile for me to try to like plan something out that would be pretty special so that's going to be the plan today at least for the start of the video so i'm gonna do a couple different ideas just like a little sketches i guess of uh what this plaza could potentially look like so let's go ahead and get started with it so i also have a question today to answer in a little bit so we'll get to that as well but we are back today for cld 224 and uh we're gonna jump right into this so what i'm gonna do guys is um, for reference, this is will probably be a good reference point for this. I built kind of like a mini model. In fact, let me go fly over there to give you guys, you know, just kind of a view of it. So I built a little mini model of Los Angeles uh, a few months ago, and it's actually pretty cool. I think it kind of helped me, you know, just see everything on a grand scale and to be able to plan things out better. So uh, I did actually build a little bit of the, what I hoped the plaza would look like, but I'm basically going to do something very similar to this. And I'm going to kind of zoom in on the plaza. So as you can see, we have like this huge tower here that isn't obviously built on the city anyway. It's amazing how when you're looking at this mini model, like if you stand right here, it looks like a city. But then you see those planes up there and you're like, eh, maybe not. So um, anyway, this is supposed to be some sort of large skyscraper that goes through the middle. And then we have kind of like just some grass features and some water features down here. So... Uh, and we also still have these buildings back here. So this is just kind of like a little quick sketch that I made. Nothing set in stone there, but, you know, something simple. So uh, what I'm basically going to do is just take that one section, and I'm just going to zoom it in and kind of just sketch out on a little mini scale something that I could potentially build there. So I have a couple of different ideas that I want to try. Uh, one of them has to do with that big skyscraper. So we will fly back over to the plaza and get started with it. So... Thanks guys for tuning in to another episode of CLD. We're on 224 now. We are cruising through these episodes. We are getting close to 225, obviously. That's one episode away, which is crazy because it feels like we just hit 200. So anyway, I'm going to start off with a, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's go 11 by 11 square. And that's what we're going to kind of get started with. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then connect it back across right here. So this is going to be my starting point here for just a basic view of what the plaza is going to look like. So um, again, like I said, I have a couple of different ideas. A lot of them are actually really different. So we're going to go through each one of them. And then I guess we can decide at the end which one will be best suited for the city. So uh, obviously the ice skating rink is something I'm going to be getting rid of. I know some people like it, but it just doesn't really fit to me. I... Originally, I thought it would be a really good idea, and I still don't mind the design of it. It's just, I don't know if it fits the city, so probably going to scrap this, even though it's not the worst thing in the world. So uh, that's just, just want to let you guys know about that. So what I'm going to do, just to kind of really, really make this uh, right, I'm going to do a lining of gray wool going around, because this is supposed to be the border of the plaza. So this is essentially the roads that go around it. So everything inside of this gray wool is going to be what we're going to be planning out. So... There we go. We have our square, obviously, on, I believe it would be this road corresponding to the highway. So, obviously, that wouldn't be, you know, that's lower than the plaza. So, we have to keep that in mind because the plaza is right on the edge of the highway. So, we do have to keep that in mind. Okay. So, uh, in fact, because of that, we what we could do is we could lower this level of gray wool down one block just to kind of symbolize that this is indeed uh, below the plaza. So, we have to keep that in mind just like so we can't put anything right on the edge. Okay. So here's my, my first idea for this, okay? Idea number one is to create some sort of tower. So uh, like like a, the plaza will be dedicated to one final gigantic skyscraper in Los Angeles that would be as high as it can possibly go. So the Eclipse Towers, I'm telling you right now, the Eclipse Towers, if we fly all the way up to the top of here, and if you just take a block and go straight up, you can only go about 30 more blocks up from here before you hit the max height limit. 
as you can see right here that's the height limit of the world that's really not a whole lot of space past the, the top of the eclipse tower my plan for this potential final skyscraper is to make it literally the very top point of it would be right here like it is going to be at the exact height limit of the world and i think i'll make it kind of a more empire state building looking than kind of like a flat roof so it'll be kind of like a pointy top so it'll essentially you know the top very top point will be like the max height of the world so it's literally scraping this guy so that was my original idea so let's go ahead and at least just kind of build something up around that idea just to start so i'm just going to grab some simple blocks here obviously who knows what I would build this out of if I actually decided to follow through with it. So we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Obviously I have to make sure I keep in mind that I want everything symmetrical. So something like this, right? And this would go up and up and up and up. And this would just be, you know, the, the basics. Obviously it's gonna be so much more detailed, exponentially more detailed if I, if I did this on a final build. So I'm just gonna do something basic to start. I did something really similar to this on the, uh, little plan out that I did on the other side so just something real simple to start and then this would be the door obviously so I'll maybe do something like uh, there we go and obviously I could grab some glass I'll grab some black stained glass for this and have this go all the way up and right here as well and this is going to be a basic idea for this particular skyscraper so um, we'll just see how this looks when I kind of put everything in so I'll st again, I'll uh, kind of wrap this up on the top with a kind of like a turning shape with some stairs. And then I can do something like this, grab some cobblestone walls, and then this would go up like that. And that would essentially be like the top, basically. And it would be something something like that, obviously. You know, that's, that's just like a little sketch. But that would be like the general idea of what that would look like. So it would be a very, very tall building with a pointed roof. Uh, that would look kind of similar to the Empire State Building, but I would probably go off on my own with it a little bit. And then basically the entire plaza around it would just be kind of uh, dedicated to like landscape and pathways. So let's say uh, for this, for the example, uh, how should I do this? Um, all right, look, let's just say for the example that we're going to have a fountain that would be right here. So let's say a fountain right there, obviously it would be much bigger and or smaller depending on the scale. We have a lot more space to work with on the real thing. So let's say two fountains right there, and then let's grab some cobblestone. Let's say we have a pathway that leads up to the building right here. So that would be kind of, you know, how that would work. So you would, if I was standing here, or well, I guess it would be like right here, I would be looking straight ahead at a pathway that led up to a massive building. And then there'd be a fountain there, and a fountain there, and then basically everything else on the sides, I would probably just, uh, do something like this. I'd probably just add some trees going along the side of the road here. So we'll do a couple of trees like this. We'll make some really tall trees, obviously. So uh, right now they're just little tiny ones like this. In fact, it's funny because we actually have some of those around the place. But uh, in reality, they'd probably be something along the lines of these right here. So just to kind of uh, keep that in mind. And then same thing on this side like this. And then I would like actually to keep the LD sign because right over here, if you guys know, well, actually it's on both sides of the plaza, we have these little L's and D's and there's a bench. I would like to keep that. Like ultimately that will most likely stay in place. And that would be kind of like my first, first idea for what this plaza could potentially look like. There's idea number one. It would have a lot more detail on the final thing, but this is just a little sketch. And of course I could you know, take these pathways and run them down through here as well, connect them to the roads on each side. And just kind of make like maybe this would be like the the, tr the world trade center or something like that of of los angeles or something else depending on what i decided i wanted it to be like this gigantic tower so uh, that would be pretty cool as like kind of my first idea and you might be wondering what would happen in this case if um you know like obviously this plaza or this particular plaza design here doesn't really account for these three buildings here the flower pot coffee shop the beacon tower and Papa's Pizzeria with the apartment building above it. So uh, you might be wondering what I would do with this stuff. Well, the plan would be that I would move Papa's Pizzeria because um, the thing about Papa's Pizzeria, it's a nice building on the bottom. I really like it. I think it's a, a good solid addition to the world. I still need to do the interior of it, but it's a, it's a nice Italian restaurant. I like it. I think it's a perfect addition. I would most likely just move it somewhere else in the city. And where I would most likely move it would be somewhere around the north uh, eastern area depending on what I do up there so 
whether I decide to put an airport there or I decide to just flatten it all out and add more space, like maybe like a strip mall or something like that. Uh, and I was also considering doing a strip mall over there, so that's another possibility. But I would most likely move that building uh, either over there, past the stadium, or up in the north. The Flower Pot Coffee Shop and the Beacon Tower. I've actually already experimented with this on World Ed on PC, so I actually kind of know where I could potentially move these, and I did a video on it as well. So uh, what I would do is I would move the Beacon Tower right over here along the edge of the beach and then put the Flower Pot Coffee Shop right next to that so this would be kind of like the technology area because you know all those tech people they love their coffee so um, that would be good and i think that would be a solid addition over there in the corner and then that would clear out all the space for this potential design for the plaza so that is design number one guys but that does not mean we are done i also have another idea so we're going to work on design number two right now so i'm going to do another a little 11 by 11 square here so i'm going to kind of just jump a couple of blocks uh, right there will be fine and I'm gonna create another square and while I'm creating this next square guys I'm gonna answer today's question of the day while I'm doing this little 11 by 11 square so today's question of the day comes from uh, I think it's uh Fryamus Gaming I'm not sure how to pronounce that but I think it's Fryamus Gaming and the question is would you start touring other people's worlds on both last gen and next gen so uh, I think I get this question before uh, but I would like to you know answer it and then kind of springboard off of another idea that I have so um, I used to do like some tours of other people's worlds back in the day and I haven't really done that as much as I used to uh, For whatever reason just you know focusing on my own series and things like that and uh, The way I used to do it was I had contests. So I had this one contest on Danville where uh, after I put up the world for download I left some open space and uh, You know I had people you know build stuff on that open space and like the best like use of that space would win a prize so that i think it was like a uh, microsoft points because those were still a thing back then on xbox well, that's that was a long time ago and that was a pretty fun little thing but i think i could honestly make that a little bit more organized and better so um i might do something like that in the future just to kind of implement some subscriber builds but to be honest if i ever like see something like insanely amazing on twitter or something like that there's a good chance i'll probably do a video on it like bean cruise uh, world is a good example you know bean cruise somebody who just like kind of contacted me like just nonchalantly and his world is pretty amazing so of course i was very interested in it and i did a tour of it so that's kind of how i do it like if i see something like amazing you know there's a good chance i'll record it or, or tour it or whatever um and that's kind of how i've been doing things but to kind of go off of that and just kind of implement subscriber builds more on this channel because it is really just my builds um i would like to potentially do some stuff uh with a subscriber world so uh the subscriber world has been something i haven't done in like at least a year and a half now and it's uh, been a long time i would like to potentially start a subscriber world back up um on uh, xbox one over the winter break because i have more time that uh, school isn't in sessions so all that time that i would have been in school i could have the subscriber world open and that could be pretty awesome so uh that's something i'm definitely thinking about doing just to, because i do actually want to start implementing some more subscriber builds i was thinking about that a little bit lately in just my youtube brainstorming sessions just trying to think of new things to do so um, implementing more subscriber builds is something I definitely want to do because I think it's pretty fun. So, uh, thanks for the question, uh, Fry and Miss Gaming. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right again. You guys can leave your questions of the day in the comment section below or send them to me on the Twitter Twitter. And I'll go through those and find one for next episode if I find one that's really good. So, anyway, back to the build now that I have the second uh, layout for the plaza up and ready. So, uh, basically, this the second idea is going to be very different from the first one. The first one is... Um, you know, obviously has to deal with like this huge skyscraper and the second one isn't going to have any skyscrapers at all. So here is the plan for plaza number two. So obviously on the other side of the plaza street over here, I have these four kind of Victorian townhouse buildings. So what if I did something like this? I took these four buildings and I kind of created four more buildings on this side of the street, very similar in style. And then I kind of just put a bunch of trees like right, right along the edge of the road on both sides just kind of like overlooking the road here and i could create some sort of like greenwich village style build um in like new york city so that's a, a thought process that i had i think could be actually really awesome so let's go ahead and just make a little mini sketch of this and see how it looks so i'm going to use some of the similar colors that i chose for that side of the road so some yellow and some brown and things like that obviously we'd probably choose mostly brick because i think out of the four of these that I built. I like that one the most for sure. So uh, we're gonna start off with just something basic. So I'm just gonna do like these little 
like squares, I guess, of materials. And this is going to be, you know, the silliest looking thing for the start. Like that, that one's going to look a lot better as a, like a little mini model than this one. That's for sure. So let's just say, you know, we have this going in and one of these is going to have to be smaller than the other. But of course, that's not going to matter on the full scale thing. Okay, so let's just say, whoops, uh, let's just say that these right here are the four buildings along the edge of the street, right? And then what I would probably do is along the street, and I probably should have given myself some more space. In fact, let me go ahead and scrap this real quick so I can give myself some more space here. All right, so let's do that. And there we go. And then what I would do really is I would have, you know, trees that would be kind of just draping over the road throughout this entire thing. And it would just be kind of like this n very nature oriented uh, neighborhood. So uh, if you guys are unaware of what Greenwich Village is, it's like this little area of, of New York. And it's basically like this kind of concept where there's just a bunch of, you know, houses basically really uh, cramped together on a, like a very, uh, it's not a very wide road. And then there's just trees that just over overlook the road and just makes these cool shadows. And on a sunny day, it looks really nice. And um, that's honestly like one of my favorite parts of the city. So um, if you get a chance, go ahead and Google that. You'll you'll probably like what you see a lot. So that's kind of like the general idea of this. And then obviously it would be the same thing on the other side. So if I were to create that, you know, that you'd kind of see basically whatever you see on this side to the other side. And that's about as good as I'm gonna do right now for kind of creating little mini models. So. Anyway, uh, and then you might be wondering what I'm going to do with the rest of the plaza. So in the back here, same kind of concept, right? I'm going to have trees and stuff like that. But I'm not going to have a road running through here. I'm going to do something a little bit different. And I have a couple of different ideas. So I'm going to kind of run through uh, both of them. So uh, again, I'm just going to start to just put these little mini models of the trees in here. Why not? Okay, so these are little tree mini models, right? And then on this part here, uh, what I want to do is I'm probably going to leave these buildings. Uh, I'll most likely move this one because that would be a little bit odd for that one to be there. Uh, but I'll probably leave the, sh the flower pot coffee shop and the the uh, Papa's Pizzeria. Move that building over there. I think it's pretty inevitable that this, this building is going to be moved over there. So I'll probably just build something else in here. Maybe like a little shop or an extra house or something like that. And then down the middle here, uh, straight down the middle of the plaza, I would have just a little street of grass. Basically... Uh, we, it would be like one of those uh, streets that you see that you can't really drive over, you know, it's kind of closed off, but it's kind of just like a street for tourists to walk, I guess. So just kind of run down through here, just like this, and there would just be some nice buildings on both sides, lots of trees, lots of nature, we have some benches, kind of just like a little park that runs back behind through here. So uh, the, the one major issue, and I think you guys know what it is, just judging by what I'm placing down right now, the one major issue is that this is still a desert biome. After all this time, it doesn't change. It's still a desert biome down here, which is unfortunate. So unfortunately, we got to deal with the vomit grass, which is uh, very, very sad. So that might be the one reason I might not do this. But, you know, I might be able to find some way to compromise, whether that be with some wool or something else. But, you know, that that's another idea that I had. And then, of course, over here, we'd have the same kind of idea. So let's just say I had a building right here. And then let's just say, I don't know how I would make a small version of the flower pot coffee shop in, in like two seconds here. But let's just say uh, we'll, we'll do something like this. So I'll place a block there. I'll place some glass. Place a block there. And then I'll just place some slabs over top. So let's just say that's the flower pot coffee shop right there. And then, of course, we have Papa's Pizzeria. So I'll grab some sandstone as well. And we'll do that. So that's kind of like my general idea of what I had for the second plaza idea. So you guys got to uh, go over these. I, I think I'm leaning towards the first one. I think the second one's a cool idea. I think it's kind of out of the box. And, you know, something that, you know, I never really thought about originally doing something like this. Like making like an extra park. And I could even honestly create like a... Um, a pedestrian bridge that goes over the highway and connects over to the other side where the park is. That could be another like option. So it could run straight down the middle here. That's honestly also a really interesting idea. So uh, ultimately though, I, I, I think the first one is a little bit more sound of an idea. I think this one has some flaws just mainly because of the grass, but you kind of get the idea, right? It would have this road here would look awesome when you're coming down from the Eclipse Towers because it would kind of just enter like this little foresty area kind of with like, you know, Victorian houses on both sides of the street. 
I think that would that honestly would be really awesome, and that's probably something I'll probably try to implement on some other point in the city's uh, building process. But uh, these are the two general ideas I have for the plaza planning. So you guys gotta let me know. I, I'm just uh, I'm trying to you know brainstorm this out. Just been doing a lot of you know thinking lately, trying to uh, come up with some new stuff for the city, and I think that these two ideas are pretty good. Um, you guys gotta let me know though if you like them. I, I I think I'm leaning towards the first idea, like I said, but who knows? Who knows what'll happen? Maybe I'll think of something else that will be even better than these two things. But this is this is gonna be a project that I'm gonna be starting on full scale, most likely within the next few episodes. I might even do an hour long episode one of these times, just really get like a jump on this. And uh, we need to like figure out which one of these I'm actually going to decide on using. So. Uh, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, again, thank you guys for the question of the day. If you want to leave a question of the day submission in the comment section, feel free to do so. And I'll go through those and try to find one for next episode. Also, let me know uh, your opinions on this. Which one do you like more? And uh, we'll start to really try to focus in and create this plaza and make it perfect. So we've changed this thing way too many times. I'm getting a little bit impatient with myself. I want to try to find something that's really going to stick. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Give it a like if you did enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. A subliminal L holding in my hand right now. I love it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It's been Dan Langs. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.